to Norman on high business. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is and thanks for showing up in such a, a chilly day. And I don't know about where you were, but it was snowing when I got up earlier this morning. And uh, thank you very much, Cheryl, for getting this all together. Good morning. I'm Hibiscus Rose, and I also am happy to be here for this tribute to my dear friend and mentor, Ayawata. <clears throat> for 13 years, Ayawata celebrated Chinese New Year's with friends at a Chinese venue. She enjoyed writing poetry regarding the totem animal of each year. Xinyan Kuai Le, Gong Shi Fatsai, Happy New Year. May you have great wealth. Fire Monkey Year 2016 by Ayawata. Get ready to shake it up, innovate, create, change. Let fires of passion explode from your heart. Fuel your journey. Embrace fun and mischief. Keep laughter flowing. But don't jump impulsively for that banana. Be clever, ready to shift gears in momentary calculation. Like genius monkey, use your talents to solve problems. Remember, anything can happen in monkey year. What we're doing today is, is um reading some of Ayawada's uh, different poems that she's written. This one is Friends by Ayawada. Friends open doors to undiscovered parts of ourselves. Some doors burst free, lighthearted, laughter. Others bring us shoulder to shoulder, christening brothers and sisters. Some open wide, dark caverns, holding things avoided. Mirrors reflecting stinging truths of self, unknown, birthing, transforming, and truth. Pushing beyond expectations, boundaries of limits, we find friends open doors Friends open hearts, light our paths, rise to higher, rise us higher toward heaven. Honoring my Argentine friend who came into my life briefly in 2005, she supported my desire to become a bilingual writer and eventually gifted me with much more. Blanca, you came like a one-woman tango, embracing me, taking me to the edge, totally true to yourself, no emotion unexpressed, eating cake for lunch, <clears throat> dancing until dawn, Offering no excuses for your absences. Crystal clear you chose. Passion, life, family. Your example gave me courage to follow my dreams. Each time I falter, I remember the gleam in your eye your hearty Argentine laugh, embracing life. Mama Squash, sprawling shamelessly in midday sun, sheltered by meandering vines, 
bulbous, curvaceous mama squash, dresses in diverse moods, emerald snakeskin, tawny smooth sensuality, blazing orange protuberance, pregnant with autumn's harvest, dancing to honor mama squash. My hips flow, navigate hairpin curves, surprising <clears throat> bulges, flex, bend, adapt endlessly like God's putty, expressing freedom, unique essence, sweet odors, soothing snug tastes. Mama squashes gifts like a rainbow, hug us on frosty eaves with mother love. And one of the things that uh, my wife did was that she wrote poems about different things that she did. And one of the, she was a member of, of a multitude of uh, Native American groups, which I, I am too. But the following poem um, took place in a, next to the Canadian border up in Albany, Vermont, and it was my wife's name, a uh, native name was Circling Possum. So this was, is called The Feast by Circling Possum. <coughs> Excuse me. Mishaps, misunderstandings, mistakes, shape today's realities. Cancel time clocks. Make way for emergencies. Peeling of grief's wrappings. At tonight's earthly feast, spirits arrive gleefully. Rearranging means, menus. Devouring timetables. We join together with comrades seen and unseen, celebrating life and death mysteriously, acquiring strength of eagle's vision. We watch as this new world unfolds. The new place has no name, contains no opposites. All are present. Loss is not a word. Space, time, have disappeared. Iowata, Norman, and I performed this next piece many times at the Native American, annual Native American Music Festival. We adapted it from an Aboriginal story. A long time ago, in the beginning, Biami, the great spirit, undertook to inhabit the earth with its finest creation, mankind. Both man and woman had the job to care for the earth and all upon it, the plants, the fish, the animals like the kangaroo. The dingo. The emu. The bush pigeon. Raw 
droga. <risos> The frog. The mopoke. Now the kookaburra had the special job of announcing the dawn, which he did joyfully every morning. During this time, everyone and everything lived in perfect harmony. There was plenty to eat and drink. There was even no death. My wife and I had a uh, couple of years, we had quite a interaction with crows. Uh, every, every place that we went, we ended up seeing crows or crow feathers and things of that sort. And my father-in-law gave us a boat. And when we picked it up, it had a crow feather beside it. And the name of the boat was Foul Hooker. And you know, if you're a fisherman, that's one thing. But it was a picture of a, a fish and a hook hooked onto a, a weed. So we decided that you know, crow feather would be a, a better name for it because we had the feather beside the boat. So we turned the, the boat name into crow feather. And then we bought a motor home and we were told that it had to have a name. So it, I called it Crow Feather 2, T-O-O. -O. And this is a, a poem that we found. It never got, had gotten printed up, but it was still, it was just handwritten. So I transcribed it, I guess you'd call it. See the crows by Iowata. See the crows in air, flapping over the corn, in threes and four, spying corn, a cornfield. Caw, caw, caw! Travelers searching, flapping and diving, spying for corn. One says, caw, caw! Diving below to a yellow feast. Caw, caw! Crow family, crow family. Father crow, shiny black, yellow eyes searching. What will be our feast tonight? Sun blazing in, family crows set out in rhythmic motion, flapping and gliding. Father crows, family searches. Caw, caw! And what my wife and I used to do, we go, we go up to Maine quite a bit, and at night we'd have a little bonfire. <clears throat> and I, I learned to play the flute. Uh, I was playing the didgeridoo, and at the powwows, I always loved the flutes. And being an elder, you get to choice, when they have put something out that has a giveaway blanket, you get it, your first choice. Well, one time there was this giveaway blanket, and I. I got a flute, and before that I had tried playing flutes and they never worked for me. But for some reason that one particularly did. And after that I, I got this flute at a uh, giveaway blanket at a naming. Basically it would be like a christening in a church, but it was a naming of a, of a baby. And what happens at that, instead of the people that come giving the, the baby gifts, the family of the baby give away gifts. And this was one of the, the gifts. It was a flute. And what we'd, what we'd do sitting around the fire, would my wife would start to play, do a drum beat, and then I'd play something. And this one song seemed to keep coming up, so it's a, uh, it, it, we gave it a name called the Crow Song. And Hibiscus is going to play the drum, and uh, 
I'll play the flute with the crow song. Peace Pilgrim by Ayawata. Shh. No more talk. Far or against. Listen. Open hearted. Hear. Like a conductor. Feel connections. A mass. Compassion. Clean out the crevices. Eliminate verbal bullets. Bombshell thoughts. Search for higher self. Deep in silence. Deeper in silence. In the depths. Keeping peace requires eagle's vigilance. Total presence. So there. You can smell possibility. Ever ready to choose love. Come to know war, inside and out. Embrace its conflicts. Invite enemies to dine. Try not to want. Travel vast spaces, knowing nothing, asking nothing. To witness light's slivers. Illuminate footpaths to love. Thank you, Norman, for the, the prop for this poem, Red Boots, which Iowata loved. Red Boots by Iowata. Sassafras sweet, shaker mover, red leather duo on that shelf. Gonna be soon, so gonna be my soon to walk in boots, red as Hermes rocks. Doubting, difficulties, contraptions, tear at my toes nail, shake my found foundation loose. Dizzy with changes, fearing, fainting. Now I walk. Red, fearless in boots, like desert rocks, shifting through wind-swept worlds, my red sweeties. A little bit more about that, uh, the red boots, it, we were, we traveled around out, so I, I used to call it the West, but it was the Midwest. 
and I think it was either Arizona or North or uh, New Mexico. We pulled into this small town, and it was just the whole town was antique stores and had all kinds of clothing stores. And my wife saw these boots, and uh, she had to buy them. Winter haiku. Fresh fallen snow, sparkling wonder, silent celebration. Blinding blizzard, white deluge, challenges new realities. Wind blown, turbulent changes gather together. First light proclaims, moment to equinox, brilliant lit path. Winter icy cold, empty landscape, teaches us balance. Snow softly covers earth, home fires burning bright, love blankets. Long winter shadows hide little people songs, joyful gifts. Moonbeams kiss bare trees, ice mirrors blink endless truth. Snow melts, water flows, impermanence reigns. And I don't know if people uh, heard of or remember Idle No More. It's an ongoing protest movement found, founded in December 2017 by four women three First Nation women and a non-Native ally. It's a grassroots movement among the Aboriginal peoples in Canada comprising of First Nations, Matisse, and Inuit people and other non-Aboriginal supporters in Canada, and to a lesser extent internationally. Popular movement, was, popular movement has included round dances in public places and blockades at rail lines. And the round dances you may have seen on television, um, they, they did them in, in shopping malls and, and got all the people involved in it, not only in Canada, but also down in the United States. With the sun, we rise by Iowata Schneider. Idle no more. With the sun, we rise. Earth stewards with eagle eyes guard all life. Earth beings full of life rise with us. Rising up Today is new, another world coming. Listen, you will hear our new world, feel her life. We will round dance, all ancestors joining us, birds singing. We will round dance <clears throat> all over the planet, healing life. <clears throat> Dance unites everyone. Loving the Earth Mother, rising for her future. Hear the drum. Earth's heartbeat calling you. Imagine Generations at peace, sustainable life. And what we've done is today is is taken you through some of the places that. Iowata is gone, and what she was interested in, like Idle No More, she was very interested in that in the Native community. 
and mama squash having to do with, we lived on a 200 acre farm for, for quite a few years. And we had a, we had a nice garden and all that. So, and uh, as uh, Cheryl said, we were together for 47 years, actually together two years before that. So we did an awful lot of things and you can, you know, when you're 76, you've done an awful lot. And uh, she luckily, you know, she was here with, with us for all those years. And she got into doing uh, haiku, which is uh, something very interesting because I, I really didn't understand it until I started to try and read it. I, I don't know if I understand it now, but it's a little bit better. And uh, we'd like to thank you uh, all for coming out and hearing about Iowater and uh, there's a, a little verse up on the table up there about I'm not here and you can read that uh, and about the uh, it's just about people that have passed over and thank you I'd like to thank Cheryl and the HCAM staff for having us here today and for, for my friend Norman for sharing his beautiful wife with me for many years. Very, very dear friend and, uh, and mentor. And I miss her a lot. Not making good decisions lately <laughs> without her support. So I really appreciate it. And this has been a great opportunity. And thank you all for being here and supporting us. Thank you. One last thing. I'd like to thank the HCAM group. They're, they're a wonderful group of people, and you know, Cheryl gets the uh, credit for being the the head person. But it's all these people that are supporting her to make make it all happen. Thank you all. Um.